which is the fried palm fridge in a bitter melon sauce. A very classic Cantonese dish. Again, protein with uh, vitamin C, they're from the bitter melon. Wow, wonderful. And you would enjoy. Home cooking in a healthy way. Lovely people all over the world. Now today we have a um, bitter melon together with the fish. Okay, and now we cut the bitter melon like this. Okay, and we scoop out the inside, and then you can cut it in um, shrimp form. It can be slightly larger strips. And this fish is very good to to match with the bitter melon. They complement each other. Just set this aside. Meanwhile, uh, this fish, uh, we have to already clean it uh, nicely and then uh, we would uh, uh, mop it dry. Uh, we will cut the shallots like this, okay, half and then in, in this nice strips. Uh, we need a bit of free shallots for this size of uh, fish, okay. And then uh, we will have the garlic, okay, and this one would be diced. Uh, uh, I think we need at least uh, four um, um, rows of garlic like this uh, to, and then dice it into uh, these uh, fine um, pieces. Mm. Now, uh, when the, this uh, fish is packed dry, then we sprinkle some corn flour in to make it you know, the, uh, even more easier to, um, to fry. Dry, dry up and absorb all the remaining moisture. Oh, this one is not yet dry enough. So all the remaining moisture is already absorbed or, or cornstarch or flour. Huh? If you have flour, it's also okay. And now, meanwhile, we are heating up the pan. Theme of oil. Huh? We will sprinkle some salt. Again, this is the only salt. Huh? And we, you will leave it untouched again huh, for quite a, maybe at least four minutes. Huh? This is the only way that you can have a less oil. Fry. And now you can fry you, this uh, uh, fish. The fish you can fry for another um, ten minutes. But you, you know, in order to save oil and not to have the oil heat for a long time, we transfer it to here. You know, for baking, you can continue fry this. Uh, no problem. But if for healthier, you know, you will bake it so that these tails also become crispy. Mm -hmm. We'll put it into the oven again, okay. 175 degrees uh, for 10 minutes, uh, just to bake it. Uh, oh, up and down. Yeah, very good. <laughs> we have drained away some of the oil here, just set it aside. Uh. We need only need this uh, amount of oil uh, after frying the fish. And then we put in our shallots to fry for a moment first, okay? And in parallel, we will get ready some black bean. This is uh, again um, the the Chinese the Chinese black bean, the preserved bean, okay? And uh, cleansing with water. 
then we will chop it. Okay. Also, uh, dye some uh, sp uh, spring onion for decoration. It's the garlic, and we chop it together so that the garlic and the black bean would intermingle with each other, and then they would release the, the aromatic flavor. After um, the shallot is already brown a little bit, then we can add in more garlic. Now throw in our beautiful bitter lemon. And now throw in our mixed up black bean and garlic paste and fry it for a few seconds and wow you can already look the good smell huh? and now we have add some water a little bit water We collected uh, the, the caramelized potato here. Okay, and let's cook with the lid on for at least uh, five minutes. Uh, okay. uh, because I want to cut with this. The melon is uh, half cooked already. Uh. If you want a softer and tender bitter melon, then you cook it for a longer time. Uh. So if you will want a uh, not so, not so, you know, Salt. Ten, a bit of of course, you'll cook it for less time. And meanwhile, we'll add some dark soy sauce into our dark soy sauce to enhance the color and also add the additional soil flavor to the bit of And then now we bring it to a boil again, okay? Okay, now. Meanwhile, uh, this fish has been grilled in the oven for uh, so 10 minutes on this side and uh, 10 minutes on the opposite side. So it will save our oil and also now that the, the prong fat uh, already turned golden, golden brown. And this is uh, very desirable. And now we put it back to this sauce when it's boiling. Okay. Okay. And then we can now simply cook it like this. Uh, if you wanted to retain the, the, the dryness of the fish, uh, the skin, then you, you, you have to open without closing the lid. But if you don't mind, then you, you can close the lid and then, um, and then the, the smell is better. Uh, both sides will be favored and seasoned with our sauce. Huh? So it's up to you. But I think this is a better way. Huh? The, the, the fish would, the, the, all the good taste would infiltrate the fish uh, and the meat would be very tasteful for flavor and now, now we can close the lid to cook the fish uh, so that it, it's totally absorbed the, the uh, uh, Mary with the bitter melon uh. now uh, after 5 to 10 minutes cooking depends on how, how much you like to, to softness of the fish you try, gently transfer the fish into the bitter melon together with some additional starch water. And now you can taste that. Uh, you find that it is uh, not uh, sweet enough, you can add a little bit of sugar. But for us, I think it's okay. If you like, you can also add a little bit of mirror, uh, that's the Japanese sweet wine, uh, instead of sugar. Up to you. It's also okay, huh? If you want a slightly sweet, a touch of sweet flavor. Oh, yeah. Our beautiful souls, and here we are. Our pomfret, huh? The fish. Pomfret, a very common fish in Southeast Asia. Out Asia with the bitter melon sauce. Ooh, lovely.